Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit of a mix and match. There's going to be a couple of Red Deer grinding clips but mainly we're going to be talking about stuff to do with the new map and also the community update posted by EW today. But starting off I do have to explain why there is only two clips of me grinding Red Deer in this little update video. Well, unfortunately, on Tuesday night, as I was grinding Red Deer, my gaming laptop that I use to make all of these videos and that I do uh, that I use to play Call of the Wild, unfortunately, just completely died just mid game, and there was no real explanation or reason for it. We tried all the basic fixes, and unfortunately, nothing worked. So we took it to the place where we bought it from, and they tried a couple of different things. Still, no joy in bringing the the PC back to life. So it's had to go in for repairs and it's kind of un like indefinite of when it will actually be fixed or if it can even be fixed at all because it seems that whatever it is that has gone wrong with it is pretty dire. So unfortunately that happened but I did get a replacement laptop very quickly and thankfully last night me and my fiance managed to recover my game save file for Call of the Wild from the Steam Cloud. Which I'm extremely lucky for one that I managed to get a replacement laptop and number two that I managed to save that, act, that save file and not lose any of my trophies. I am so grateful that that you know, that wasn't a problem and we did actually manage to save it. It's been a very, very stressful couple of days because if I had lost my save file I would have been absolutely gutted. But as I came back to the Red Deer grind last night after we did that, on my first run there was a diamond, a 253.10 small rack diamond red deer. And this is actually the 22nd diamond red deer I have had on this grind. So nice to see as a, like, a straight away when I come back is something like this. And I am now going to be trying to catch up from the last couple of days where I haven't been able to grind. And hopefully we'll manage to bag a great one before the new map. But as I said, we are going to talk a lot about the new map in this video. I have lots of stuff, lots of info to share, lots of things that EW have posted and that are really interesting. So we're going to take a look at all of those. Starting off with the description that was under the reveal trailer, which a lot of us missed. And I only noticed this because of, um, I think it was NASCAR Red Panda in the comments, actually saying to me, check out the comments, uh, the... Um, description of the video and you'll see there's more information there and sure enough there was. So let's check out what it says. Nicknamed the Magnolia State and nod to the beautiful magnolia trees that grow in the region, Mississippi Acres Preserve holds a special place in the hearts of hunters, not only because of its stunning landscapes, where distinctive wetlands and bluffs meet pine forests and murky rivers, but also for its characteristic wildlife. Wherever you decide to go, experience exceptional hunting and outdoor adventures in Mississippi Acres Preserve. Delta Hunting Stalk the grey fox as it gracefully transverses the forest floor, or flush skittish northern bobwhite quail and eastern turkey from their hiding spots. Catch the nimble eastern cottontail rabbit as it darts through the underbrush, swiftly moving to avoid the feral pigs, black bears and white-tailed deer that roam nearby. In man-made areas, don't be surprised to see the common raccoon raid garbage cans and cause havoc. These little bandits are no joke. But most importantly, never lower your guard near rivers or fresh water. The patient American alligator lurks in the murky depths, waiting for the perfect moment to ambush its prey. The Coleman 22H this classic bolt action rifle is the perfect tool for small game hunting. Chambered in 22H and available in three distinct variations, it is both reliable and powerful enough to keep small predators away from your property and livestock. Thanks to its lightweight yet robust frame, the Coleman 22H makes for an ideal rifle to carry with you during long hunts. Bump in the night. Mississippi Acres Preserve has been left devastated by the worst flooding in a decade, swamping entire communities and forcing its residents to flee their homes. Members of two local rival hunting clubs have chosen to form an uneasy alliance in an attempt to help the community get back on its feet. However, things aren't what they seem, 
and when warden Immy Davis finds herself in the middle of a sinister conspiracy, things quickly take a turn for the worse. Can you help her uncover the truth? So there's a lot of interesting information in here, ranging from the animals that are going to be on the new map, the new rifle, and also going into the story missions. I'm really interested to see what those story missions are going to contain, but the most interesting things to me in this were the fact that there are a further two new species that are going to be on this map, including the Eastern Cottontail and the Eastern Wild Turkey. Those are two new species that weren't shown in the reveal trailer. And it's also interesting to see the confirmation that feral pigs and black bears will also be on the map. Of course, we knew everything else that they you know, that was going to be on the map from the trailer, but we didn't see feral pigs, black bears, or eastern cottontails and eastern wild turkeys in that trailer. So it's nice to see basically a full rundown of all of the species that are going to be on the new map. However, there has been some other interesting stuff posted by EW, including onto their social media, a little clip of the alligators giving us some more information about them. Once again, showing this jumping up into the air and snapping animation, which I really hope we do get to see in the live game as an aggressive animation. It just looks so cool. But at the end of that little snippet that they posted onto their social media was this. We get, uh, we get a look, finally, at what weapon class the alligators are going to be. And they're going to be a weapon class 6. So the same as Red Deer, which I find really interesting. I was thinking that they would either be sort of class 9 or class 1, based off of what people were saying. That we would either be shooting them in the lungs with the 300 or in the head with 22s. Honestly, there were so many different suggestions as to what we could be hunting alligators with. But it seems like it's going to be more of a Call of the Wild style um, sort of look at alligators, where we'll be shooting them in the heart and lungs with something like the M1 and the 303, rather than going for those brain shots. So that's going to be really interesting, because it might not be the most realistic, but as others have phrased it, it is very much in keeping with Call of the Wild style. And then we move on, and there was actually a little clip posted to the social media again of the Coleman 22 Hornet. And this was the, at the end of the video showing the three different variations, and also its magazine size, effective range, its class, and the ammo types. So there's going to be soft points and polymer tips for this, for this particular rifle, and it's going to be class 1 to 2 with a magazine size of 6. And it says uh, um, 150 meters effective range, but we all know that the effective range is sometimes a little bit weird with the rifles in Call of the Wild, so I'm kind of ignoring that at the minute. The thing that's most interesting to me is the fact it's class 1 to 2, and I cannot wait to try this out and see what this rifle performs like. Initially, the middle variation there was my favourite, but I really do kind of like the look of the sort of top green colour one there. It really does look quite nice and very different to the rifles that we're using at the moment. And it's going to be a very nice change from the normal 22. I'm really excited to get to play with this in-game and just see what it performs like on things like the raccoons and maybe the grey fox. Honestly, I think that this could be a new firm favourite in my loadouts if it performs as well as I'm, as I'm hoping it will. Because honestly, they just look fantastic. They are absolutely beautiful new variants. And it's a really nice rifle, I think, for the map. And yeah, I just cannot wait to get to actually play around with it and see how well it performs. So moving on to the last little bit of news now. And it was the community update that was posted today in the Call of the Wild official Discord. So it says, community update, hello hunters, with the release of Mississippi just around the corner, we wanted to share some information on some improvements and fixes rolling out with the new DLC, when to expect a first look at the gameplay reveal, and what else is coming up. We'll be addressing a number of critical issues on the on with the December 7th release, it says, so on December 7th basically, including significant changes to address the FPS issue and boost performance, rectifying the Xbox player's missing DLC and fixing the broken fast travel bug. In the way of improvements, we will be conducting some fur quality enhancements for all animals, retouching the visuals for water in lakes and rivers, and updating the feeding clue meshes for predators. No more blood splatters. 
Tune into the stream next week as we reveal the Mississippi gameplay for the first time and talk about the extended patch notes list and kick off the Community Creator Early Access Weekend event. That's all for now. In the meantime, have a great, great weekend and happy Friday. And that was posted by Meggles in the official Discord a couple of hours ago. So on Tuesday, there is going to be the first look at what the map actually plays like, and that's going to be great to see. But there is also going to be the start of the community content creator event. And honestly, I'm obviously not an official community content creator, but I definitely recommend you go and check out people like Flinter, Scarecrow, and of course, Kill Clinton. Kill Clinton did a really awesome thing for me last night on his channel, and it was just incredible. It almost brought me to tears because of his kindness. He's an awesome guy, and so is Scarecrow, and they're both going to be doing 24-hour live streams in the next couple of days. So I'd be really grateful if you guys could go over and check them both out. They're both awesome people, and yeah, they deserve so much love. They're just fantastic. So yeah, if you want to look at um, seeing some of the map a little bit early, make sure to go and check those guys out. They're all brilliant. And of course, I'm going to be excited for myself to see what the map plays like. Interesting to see improved visuals for the water. I'm guessing that is because of the alligators and how they interact with water. That maybe they've changed certain things that they'll just now implement across all the reserves. There's just a couple of little things there that I think are really interesting. I hope that the um, improvement there, it says for the fur types and stuff on animals to make them look better, basically. I hope that doesn't mess with anything in the Trophy Lodge. Um, hopefully that is going to be actually really nice. And I wonder if that's for things like the lion manes on Xbox and stuff. Because I have seen how translucent they can be from playing on Xbox. And they really do need a little bit of an improvement. But I think that's a really nice little summary of what's going on. And yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot of those fixes. The fast travel thing will be great. It's really encouraging to see EW actually reaching out and putting these little updates out to the community. Because I know a lot of you guys have been asking when those bugs would be fixed. Especially you guys on console have, who have been having really bad lag issues with Rancho and Rohonga from what I've heard. But that is basically going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it has been in some way informative. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for all the love and support, as always. I appreciate it more than I can ever say. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.